This is a video to show you how to practice tap dancer and I will um, do one run through with the backing track so you can see how it goes. Um, so, uh, the first bar in the piece is actually the same as the second bar and the um, seventh bar and the eighth bar. So if we learn the first bar, we've learned half the piece really. Um, so the, um, for each of the bars that we're practicing, the, be the best method is to do the open strings that are going to be needed first. So we set the bow on the string at the balance point, nice settled bow hold. They can hold the um, violin using the shoulder. And we're going to do G, D, D, D. So that's the pattern, okay? Then second, they're going to need to put the finger down on the third note so it goes G D and then first finger goes down on the D string E D now they might find the coordination of that hard at first so if the parent wants to take the bow for them and do the G D D D with the bow and then at the right moment the child puts their finger down um, then we can do it that way or the child can do the bow and the parent can help support at the scroll um, and check that the you've got a nice straight wrist and the thumb is pointing upwards and the violin is just resting between the knuckles and the fatty part of the thumb and then the finger can go down on the red spot so it goes first finger goes down and have another go. So sing at the same time as playing and try and match the sound of the violin to the voice. Another way of checking if the E is in tune is plucking the E string. You can do that with left hand pizzicato. And then, so that's an E. Check whether that first finger on the D string and that's the first finger that should be in tune. Okay, so that's the first bar. Um, it repeats lots of times in the piece, as I say, so once you've got that, those four notes really settled, the piece should become easier to play. The, the next bar to work on is bar three. So bar three has got um, four notes on it, they're all on the A string, so the bowing goes A, 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 A. And then we have a go at putting the th first finger down on the third beat. So it goes A, A, finger goes down, B, A. Now we haven't got a B open string to check the tuning of that first finger, but our voices should be enough. So it goes A, A, B, A. And check that the B, A, that the um, fingers are matching with the pitch of the voice. Um, then the next bar, bar four, it, again do the bowing first, D, 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 and then it's the same finger pattern repeats, so we go D, D, and on the third beat put the first finger down, B, A. Um, and then the next two bars are the same as the first one, and then the last two bars go and then we rest for two weeks. Shh, shh. Now it says hold the bow upright and tap the screw on the end of the music stand or they can have a go at tapping on the chin rest or on a table if it's nearby um, and I'll do that section when I play it through. Um, then have a go at combining two bars so I would have a go at playing what you're looking for is a steady pulse all the way through not G D have a think what am I doing put the finger down E take it off D that doesn't work if they're still doing that go back to looking at those three individual bars until you can get them playing them steady without hesitation then join two bars at a time and then four bars at a time and then have a go at playing through the whole piece here's the backing track um, and I will play it through with the backing track so that you can see how they fit together. This is an introduction. Ready, two, three, go. 
go. beginning. 